Yeah, this is a good place to start. So we were looking at Turkish music, and it said the traditional instruments include, among other things, a flute and a harp. So over here on our simplicity, we have set this to be a flute for the melody and the ornamentation to be harp, and this is what we get. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap. Composing for Change, Part 35, Explore. In today's episode, we re-entered reflecting that exploring Turkish music history, because we're curious about Turkey from our other project, led us to trying flute and harp timbres, which you just heard a little bit of. We also wanted to take the Reaper version of our offset duet, and if you remember, what we did is we took the major and minor parts and cut them into little snippets, and we kind of offset them from each other so that they, we played simultaneously, they sounded better together. And we, th we were going to try to do that here in MuseScore. Well, our first attempt stumbled, but when we started, after we added the timbres and we were working our way through, we suddenly realized there were places where we could do it. So here, for example, there's an offset. This will be easier to show you if we make it a bit bigger. There's an offset of a, of a full bar, one bar in two quarter, and that is exactly that offset right there. So we did that all the way through, and in our score, um, there are offsets located here, for example, the plus one bar in three quarter. That is way down at the end. Right there, plus one bar and three quarter. So we were able to translate in our mind between what we had done in Reaper and what we had done in MuseScore. Why? Because MuseScore can change timbres. It can go to flutes and harps and other things that we tried. And we can't do that in Reaper. Not, not easily. So we really wanted to do hybrid tech. Start in MuseScore, experiment with it in Reaper, get our ideas, come back, see, can we do this in MuseScore? And the short answer was, well, yes, we can, uh, after a little bit of fiddling with it. So we did that. After that, we said, well, we worked on an animation from the last stream, and this time we took the major and the minor and exported them, and we just updated our duet. So now our duet uh, animated form reflects the new timbres. The cool thing about the offset duet is not only are we doing an offset vertically where the bottom of the music the lower row is being deflected down, reflected in place to the minor, but also we, as we discussed yesterday, had set the uh, the minor part was knocked down by three steps so that it was uh, in sync with the upper. Also, because as we showed here, most easily visible in Reaper, we snipped it and every time there's a gray gap in there we're doing a horizontal time delay offset or a bar a couple bars and so they end up sounding really good for example over here but this is still in the piano and we wanted that to be of course in the timbered version and sure enough we were able to do that because again we went back into muse score where is it here here it is i think it's over here so that really shows the power of blending uh technologies back and forth what we call 
cross-dimensional thinking, which is one of the themes of our series. So what we're going to do is play the score version for you in its entirety, and we'll push it up just a little bit so you can hear it, and that should bring us home. So here we go. <laughs> So that concludes today's stream. And again, one of the things, just to harp on it, that we really like about being able to go back and forth is, for example, down in here, we did something we called a blend dynamic, where we theoretically, this should have been MP, but we kept it at P. And this should have been MF, but we kept it at MP. Why? Because over here, right there, it sounded better, we felt, right here. You see how we brought in, we did a fade on the volume of the minor, so that it kind of swooshed in to the major. And the equivalent of that was to change the, the dynamic. So our ideas for next time are to post the animation, also you want to an, uh, make an animation of the score, uh, revisit the Turkish style music, and to be determined, shout outs to Miss Cleo who kept us inspired, moving through feeling uh, balked a bit, and then we succeeded. Tune in next time to see what happens. Do take care, do come back, and do keep on streaming. <laughs>